Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! Today we have another subscriber suggestion, but this time this is not a normal subscriber suggestion. Oh no, because you guys have been asking for this build pretty much since the dawn of time. I think that's a fair assessment. <laughs> now what are we making today? Well finally today we are making an item filter slash storage system. Asking for this build pretty much since the dawn of time. So what exactly is an item sorter? Well an item sorter is exactly what it sounds like it's going to sort out your items. So this item sorter here sorts out different types of concrete. But of course you can make this as long as you like and it would sort out every stackable block in the whole game. Which would be pretty bad. <laughs> so this is our input here, so if I put in this light blue concrete it's going to make its way to the right and go into this chest here which is our light blue concrete chest, as you can see. If I put in orange, it's going to make into the orange chest. And lastly, if I put an item which is not meant to be in any of these chests, it's going to go into our last one, which is our rubbish chest, basically. Basically, anything which doesn't have its own filter. For example, these three eggs. Excellent. <laughs> now, there are literally hundreds of different item sorter designs on YouTube, and each one has their pros and their cons. So how about this design? The first good thing about this design is that it has overflow protection. So if I were to fill this chest entirely with green concrete and the two hoppers behind it, and then I was to put some more green concrete into this chest, all would happen is go along here, realise there's no space, and keep going into our overflow chest. So it doesn't break at all if I were to overfill it. Our second good thing is its size. As you can see, it is very small, especially for one with overflow protection as we just said. Another great thing about this design is that it's really easy to stack. This build here has 27 item filters and the, each one has three double chests in this tiny little area. And look how easy it is. But of course, no build is perfect. So how about some cons? The first con with this build is that it's not quite silent. So if I were to put some items in here, you can hear that it does make a noise. Not much, but it certainly is there. And the second con is that as you can see, this is quite an expensive build. So per module, it does use two sticky pistons, which for some people could be quite expensive, but it is very small. So, you know, weigh up what you think is better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just gonna do a block for block tutorial on this design here, but the block list is literally just for a module like this. So if you want to make a seven module design like I have here, just times what we have on the list by seven, if that makes sense. And then what I'll do after that, I'll show you how you can stack them nice and easily like we have here. Okay, now we've got that out of the way, let's get on with this tutorial. So for one module, you're going to need two sticky pistons, one comparator, three redstone dust, three hoppers, one redstone block, one chest, 42 items that you want to filter, four random blocks that you're never going to put into your system ever again, three blocks for redstone to go on, and then how many blocks you need for decoration. Okay, just to show how easy this build is, I'm going to try, <laughs> the operative word is try, to do this in one take. So firstly, place a line of chests down like this. Now this uh, line of chests can be as long as you like, or as short as you like, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to be doing eight chests, so seven ones which can be filtered, and then our last one will be our overflow chest. Now, toward the back, we need another line of chests which connect to these to make them doubled. Okay, like that. Now, from the back of this chest, we need a hopper going directly into it. Now, if you keep pressing the chest and this happens, all you have to do is crouch. So, crouch and press it like that. Then, one down like this and another one, and keep crouching and press a line of hoppers going into that top hopper there, all along, like that. Now we need to place a block here, and a hopper here, then another block here, and one out, remove this block, and have a sticky piston facing inward like that, connecting to that hopper, then remove this block. Then we need to crouch and place a block here, and another hopper, going in toward that block, and we can remove this block. Okay? <laughs> Does that make sense so far? And in this hopper, firstly we need to place the item which we want to be uh, filtering. 
So I want in this chest to be red concrete, so I need to place 42 red concrete in that slot. And then in each one of these slots we need one random item, which you're never going to place into this system. So that's why I've renamed this dirt to X, because I know I'm never going to place that in. So I need to place one, two, three, and four. Like that. So 42 of your filtering items, and then four randoms. Then we need a comparator on top of this piston, which should turn on. Then a line of, a line of blocks which is three long. So one, two, three. Then a sticky piston, like this, off the last block facing toward the front. And a block of redstone here. Then remove this block, and we need three bits of redstone dust. One, two, and three. And as you see, for a very short period of time, this just activated, which now leaves 41 items in here, and one item in here. Now that one item will always be in this hopper. But don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, now all you have to do is copy this all along, up to here. So let's just copy it. Okay. So let's you all along like this. And I'm going to do these hoppers for, first, first, because they're the hardest bit. So this one I want orange and four. This one I want yellow and then four randoms. This one green. And you get the picture. So on and so on. There we are. You'll see when you build one, it's very easy just to tile them. So then sticky pistons like this, so all along. Then I'm just going to place some temporary blocks here so I can place the hoppers in. Just remember to remove these blocks. As we, otherwise we're going to push our chests out, which won't be good. <laughs> And then literally just copy it. So comparators, layer of blocks, sticky pistons are going toward the front, and blocks of redstone. And then lastly, you guessed it, the redstone dust. Brilliant. And that is it. Completely done. <laughs> that is literally it. So if I just put a chest up here now, and now I start filtering. So if I were to grab some blue concrete and throw it in here, as you can see, it's going to be filtering into our blue concrete chest. Now I would suggest just putting an item frame to tell you what items are in which chest, otherwise that could get very confusing. <laughs> so how do we actually stack this build like we have here? Well, it's actually very simple again. Firstly, all you have to do is you have to move these chests one forward. Okay, so we want to remove these three, like that, and just place them here. So of course that does mean moving the front of your build just one forward, like that. So at the moment now when our item goes through here, it will go into this hopper, get trying to get pushed forward, but it won't reach. So what you need to do is have a hopper like this going into that chest. And one here, and one here. So now we have those hoppers in place, now we can actually place chests like this underneath if we want to. And then to connect these, just have hoppers going directly into them. So now that we have that in place, now we want to tile. <laughs> we want to stack them. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually, again, very nice and easy. So literally place a block like this and a block of redstone. And that block of redstone there is that one there. And literally you just want to copy this up here. So have a sticky piston going toward the block of redstone. Have two blocks like I have here. With redstone dust and all three, you can see I'm literally just copying and copying exactly what I have down here. Just make sure we have that one block gap like that. Then a block here and a sticky piston. We need a hopper like that going toward the front. Have a comparator here and a block here. And a hopper going toward that block. As you can see, I'm literally just copying exactly like we have here. And in this hopper, then we need our item filter. So 42 and 4. Beautiful. <laughs> then a block. Another one. And a chest. Move, sorry, move this block and have a hopper here. Then we can have some more chests. And again, I'm literally just copying exactly what we have down here. And some more hoppers. So you can see that's exactly like that. The only hoppers we don't have in at the moment 
are these ones here. But we'll get to that in a minute. So I'm just going to copy this along like I did earlier. So sticky pistons, two, three, blocks of redstone, blocks like this, comparator, 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 com 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 comparator. So comparator, sticky piston. <laughs> Hop is going toward the front. My English is not good today. I honestly, dear me. Hoppers this way, comparators, and dust. Then our items in here. And items in this one, 42 and 4. Then some more chests. And some more hoppers going toward those chests. Like that. So you can see that was so easy. I've literally just copied what I have here, up here. Oh, of course, we need the uh, the fascia as well. <laughs> but at the moment, our input is down here, which is not good. So what I need to do is I need to make it go up like this, then along this way, and there we are. And we have a chest on this side. Now, if you wanted the chest on this side, you just make sure the hoppers go this way, then down this way and then across. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. What a save. <laughs> Am I still flying? Oh, wow. What a save. Oh, where was I? Uh, bye. <laughs>